diversity challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, welcome to the first match of the 2013 series of University Challenge, the show that offers an opportunity to marvel at the gorgeous minds of some of this country's young people and to ask ourselves, how on earth do they know that? Or sometimes, what on earth does that question even mean? Over 130 student quiz teams applied to take part in the competition. We've invited 28 of them to delight us over the coming weeks. Now, what's in it for them? Nothing at all. No money, not even a new toaster or a soft toy in an unlikely colour. Nothing beyond a plate of chips in the studio canteen and a bit of fun. Now, let's meet the first two teams. The University of Aberdeen was founded in 1495, which makes it the third oldest in Scotland and the fifth oldest in the UK. Its location on the northeast coast of Scotland means that wind, rain and marauding seagulls are defining characteristics of the student experience along with its impressive architecture, including the Marischal College, still used by the university for ceremonial occasions and regarded by many Aberdonians as the crowning glory of the Granite City. Alumni include the politicians Alistair Darling and Tessa Jowell and James Nocte, who apparently can be heard on the wireless in the morning. Tonight's team have an average age of 20 and around 13,000 fellow students are cheering them on tonight. Let's meet them. Hello, my name is Jonathan B. I'm from Aberdeen and I'm studying geography. Hello there, my name is Ananya Bakchi. I'm from Kolkata in India and I'm a first year medical student. And their captain. Hi, my name is Ben Conway. I'm from Whitney in Oxfordshire and I'm studying philosophy. Hello, I'm Benedict Jones Williams. I'm from Peebles and I'm reading English literature. Queen's University Belfast began life in 1845 as a non-denominational college to act as an alternative to the Anglican Trinity College Dublin, and it received its royal charter under Edward VII in 1908. Its architecture is dominated by the work of Charles Lanyon, a leading figure in the late 19th century architecture of Northern Ireland, and his design for the university's main building includes a seated statue of Galileo. Legend has it that stroking the statue's outstretched foot brings a student luck, which is positively sophisticated by comparison with the belief that having a soft toy on your desk will make you answer more questions. <laughs> Nonetheless, alumni include the Nobel laureates Seamus Heaney and David Trimble and the former President of Ireland, Mary McAleese. Let's meet tonight's team with an average age of 26. Hi, my name's Suzanne Cobain. I'm from County Down and I'm reading history. Hello, I'm Gareth Gamble. I'm from Lurgan in County Armagh and I'm studying medicine. And their captain. Hello, I'm Joseph Greenwood. I'm from Manchester and I'm studying for PhD in Irish theatre. Hello, I'm Alexander Green from Lytham in Lancashire and I'm studying for a PhD in plasma physics. OK, the rules are the same as ever. 10 points for starter questions, which are solo efforts, 15 points for bonus questions, which are team efforts, and five-point penalties for incorrect interruptions to starter questions. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for 10. Together with his friend Thomas Wyatt, the elder, Henry Howard, Earl of Surrey, is credited with introducing to English the Petrarchan pattern of which 14-line... Queen's Greenwood. Sonnet. The sonnet is correct, yes. Right, the first set of bonuses are on offices of state, Queen's Belfast. Combined with that of Secretary of State for Justice in 2007, which office has been held by Thomas Beckett, Sir Thomas More, Francis Bacon and Judge Jeffreys? Chancellor. Lord, Lord Chancellor. Lord Chancellor. Correct. Archbishop Warham, Thomas Cromwell and Lord Denning are among former holders of which office, originally responsible for the records of the Royal Chancery? Lord Chamberlain? Yeah, Lord Chamberlain. No, it's Master of the Rolls. From 1812 to the late 1830s, Castlereagh, Canning and Palmerston were among the holders of which office of state? Um, nominate Cobain. Um, Lord Lieutenant of Ireland. No, they were foreign secretaries. Ten points for this. Quote, for as much as there is great noise in the city from which many evils may arise, which God forbid, we command and forbid on behalf of the king on pain of imprisonment such game to be used in the city in future. Which sport was the subject of that royal... Aberdeen Conway. Football. Football is right, yes. 
Aberdeen, your first bonuses are on motor manufacturers. Which company was founded in Milan in 1910 and taken over by Fiat in the 1980s? Giuseppe Farina won the first Formula One World Championship in 1951, driving for their team. Ferrari. No, it's Alpha. Which company was established in Tokyo in 1911 and took its present name in 1934? Its cars include the Bluebird, launched in 1959. Honda. Honda. No, it's Nissan. Which company was formed in 1902 and later became part of General Motors? It introduced Synchromesh gears in 1928 and in the late 1940s pioneered the use of chrome and tail fins that became characteristic of American cars of the period. Chrysler? No, it's Cadillac. Ten points for this. What type of object is being described? If an example with a mass of 6.7 times 10 to the power of 20 kilograms would have a radius of one thousandth of a millimeter. Aberdeen Conway. An atom. No. Queen's yes. Green. No, it's a black hole. Very odd idea of the shape of the earth. Right, or size of it. Ten points for this. The theatre critic Martin Eslin coined which four letter Queen's Green word? Theatre of the Absurd. Correct. Your bonuses are on orders of insects. Of sometimes referred to as beetles and having more than 100,000 species, what is the largest order of insects? Coleoptera. No, they're Coleoptera. Secondly, what order of insects includes bees and wasps and has a name that comes from the Greek for membrane and winged? Um, ap Apioptera. No, they're Hymenoptera. And finally, which order of insects includes butterflies and moths? Um, yeah, um, Leptidoptera. Uh, it's Lepidoptera. You were thinking along the right lines, but that isn't the right answer. So we're going to take a picture around now. For your picture starter, you'll see a diagram showing the ingredients of a popular cocktail. Ten points if you can name the cocktail. Aberdeen Jones Williams. Martini. It is a martini, yes. It's often the choice of Roger Sterling, a character in the award-winning TV drama Mad Men. Coming up, three more cocktails favoured by characters from Mad Men. Five points for each you can identify among the cocktails as described by the International Bartenders Association. Firstly, as ordered by Peggy Olson. Come on, let's have Nominate it, James Williams. It's Harvey Wallbanger, but it's not. No, you're, you're quite right, it's not. It's a Brandy Alexander. Secondly, as enjoyed by Betty Draper. What do you think? No, no, it's got more drinks in there. Uh, that's a Tom Collins, and finally associated with Don Draper. Whiskey sours? No, that's an old fashioned. What sweet creatures you are. Right, <laughs> uh, ten points for this. Then in the Spanish Netherlands, which seaport came under English control in 1658 after the Battle of the Dunes? In 1662, Charles II sold it to France, and it's now a sub-prefecture of the Nord Department. Aberdeen B. Calais. No, anyone want to buzz from Queens? Queens Green. Dunkirk. Dunkirk is correct, yes. Your bonuses are on the Peasants' Revolt of 1381, Queen's University. The Peasants' Revolt was led by Watt Tyler and which itinerant preacher who advocated a classless society? He was celebrated in a story by William Morris in the 1880s. Jack Storm was one of them, wasn't he? Jack Straw? No, it was John Ball. John Ball's sermon at Blackheath in 1381 is noted for a rhetorical couplet beginning... When Adam delved and Eve span, 
What's the second line? The world began. No, who was then the gentleman? Paul's writings use references to which character created by William Langland in an allegorical poem of the late 14th century to attack political and ecclesiastical corruption? No, no idea. It's Piers Plowman. Ten points for this. Literature cannot be the business of a woman's life. These words of Robert Southey appear in a letter of 1837 to which aspiring author, then aged 20... Ah, Greenwood. Jane Austen. No, you lose five points. Then aged 20, who had sent him a selection of her poems. Come on, Aberdeen. One of you buzz. Aberdeen Jones Williams. Emily Barrett. Emily Barrett. No, it was Charlotte Bronte. Ten points for this. In probability theory, what name is given to the theorem stating that the mean value of a sequence of trials approaches the expected value as the number of trials increases? Aberdeen Conway. Bayes theorem. Nope. Anyone like to buzz from Queens? Queens Green. Central theorem. No, it's the law of large numbers. Ten points for this. The poet Tristan Zara and the artist Jean Arp were of two of the founders of which artistic movement formed in Zurich in 1916 with a name thought to have been picked at random from a dictionary? Aberdeen Conway. Dadaism. Dadaism is correct, yes. Get these bonuses, you'll take the lead there on Sussex Towns. In a play by Oscar Wilde, a character found as a baby at Victoria Station was named after which Sussex seaside resort by his adoptive father who had a ticket to that town in his pocket at the time? Brighton. No, it's Jack Worthing. In different spellings, what name links the children in C.S. Lewis's The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe with the Sussex town where William the Conqueror landed in 1066? Pevensies. 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 Pevensies? Correct. One of the medieval sink ports, which town in Sussex shares its name with the narrator of many of the, the Hercule Poirot stories by Agatha Christie? Hastings. Correct. Ten points for this. The high price of bullion and principles of political economy and taxation are works by which stock trader, often described as the second great classical economist after Adam Smith? Queen's Green. John Maynard Keynes. Nope. Aberdeen B. Ricardo. Ricardo is correct, yes. You get a set of bonuses on British puddings. Which pudding was popularised by a public school tuck shop when it may have contained bananas? Nowadays it's usually made with strawberries and the Wholesome Cook website recommends the addition of pansies. Eaton Mass? Correct. Described by Nigel Slater as our national tart, which pudding's filling has a name deriving ultimately from a Greek word meaning antidote against a venomous bite? Panna cotta. Panna cotta. It's treacle tart. And finally, boiled condensed milk is a major ingredient of which English dessert pie, given the portmanteau name, it first appeared in an East Sussex restaurant in 1972. Bread and butter pudding. No, it's banoffee pie. Bread and butter pudding is much older. Right, for your music starter, you'll hear a piece of popular music based on a classical work. For 10 points in this music round, I want the Italian composer of the original piece. Queen's Greenwood. Vivaldi. Nope, you can hear a little more, Aberdeen. Come on. 
The original is by, you don't know, Boccherini. Ten points for this. We'll take the music bonuses in a moment. Answer as soon as your name is called. Expressed in centimetres, what is the focal length of a lens with an optical power of five diopters? Aberdeen Bagchi. 50. Uh, no. Nope. Anyone like to buzz from Queen's? Queen's Gamble. 20 centimetres. 20 is correct, yes. Right, so we go back to the music round now. That was Spinal Tap's uh, rendering of Boccherini's Minuet. Your bonus is three other pieces of classical music given a 20th century pop reimagining. Five points for each original composer you can identify. Firstly... Yeah, we'll try uh, Rimsky Korsakov. No, it's by Katachurian. Uh, and that was uh, Love Sculpture's interpretation of it as Sabre Dance. Secondly. <laughs> <laughs> no, the original is by Modest Mussorgsky. That was Disco or Night on Disco Mountain by David Shire. Finally. I think this is Minsk, of course. <laughs> course no, it is, and it's by Tchaikovsky. Surely it's <laughs> unmistakable. Ten points for this. <laughs> After a European peninsula that underwent political division in the late 19th and early 20th century, which term describes the fragmentation of a... Aberdeen Bank Tree. B Balkanization. Correct. <laughs> Aberdeen, these bonuses are on ecology. What term describes the final stage of ecological succession when a community of species in an area reaches a more or less stable equilibrium with the environment? Climax. Correct. Give any of the terms that describe an ecological community when it fails to develop to full climatic climax due to the intervention of outside factors, for example, human activity. Interrupted. No, it's biotic climax. And finally, what term describes a biotic climax community dominated by dwarf ericaceous shrubs developing on acidic, free-draining soils? An example of such a community is the Breckland in Norfolk. Come on, let's have it, please. Acerbic? No, it's Heathland. Ten points for this. Danica May Camacho, a girl born in Manila in October 2011, was chosen by the UN to mark which milestone in terms of... Queen's Greenwood. Is it seven billion? It was the Earth's population reaching seven billion people, yes. Right, your bonuses this time, Queens, are on novels whose titles contain a word from the NATO spelling alphabet. For example, A Passage to India. In each case, give the title from the description. Firstly, a book of short stories by Anais Nin, described as a glittering cascade of sexual encounters. It was published posthumously in 1978. Um... Do we need the title? Yeah, Romeo is dying. No, it's Delta of Venus. Okay. Secondly, a novel of 1988 by Peter Carey, in which the title characters attempt to transport a glass church across New South Wales. It won the Booker Prize in 1988. Oscar and Lucinda. Correct. An 1889 novel by Mark Twain, in which a New Englander is sent back in time to early medieval Britain. It's um, a Connecticut Yankee in the courts of King Arthur. In King Arthur's Court is correct, yes. Well done. Right, we're going to take another picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a painting of a well-known British bridge. 
Ten points if you can name the bridge. Aberdeen B. Uh, Fourth Rail Bridge. Indeed it is. That was painted in 1914. Your bonuses are three more paintings of British bridges. In each case, I want the name of the bridge. Firstly, this bridge in a painting from 1831. Nominate B, Menai Suspension Bridge. No, it's the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Secondly... Come on. The bridge over the River Kwai. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> that is the Menai Bridge. <laughs> and finally, this bridge depicted in 1928 in a state of construction. Come on, chaps. Tyne Bridge. It is the Tyne Bridge, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this starter question. Meaning instrument of thought in Sanskrit. What six-letter term is used in Hinduism and Buddhism to describe a word or sound that's repeated as an aid to concentration? Queen's Green Word. Mantra. Mantra is right, yes. <laughs> Bonuses this time, Queens are on thermodynamics. Which French engineer gives his name to the heat engine cycle that converts heat into work at the maximum efficiency possible? Who do you know? Yeah, I, I nom nominate Green. Who do you know? No, it's Carno. For a closed system at constant pressure and temperature, which thermodynamic function of the system is a minimum at equilibrium? Nominate Green. Fresher. No, it's Gibbs. Gibbs function, Gibbs energy. Uh, and indicated by the symbol S, what thermodynamic quantity increases for all spontaneous processes? Entropy. Entropy. Correct. Ten points for this. The Spanish term, El Clásico, denotes... Queen's Greenwood. Real Madrid and Barcelona. Correct. <laughs> These bonuses if you, is if you get them, if you take, you'll take the lead. Uh, they're on literary trilogies. Who's the author of the New York trilogy written in the 1980s? It comprises the novel City of Glass, Ghosts and the Locked Room. Um, Gore Vidal. No, it's Paul Auster. Palace Walk, Palace of Desire and Sugar Street make up the Cairo trilogy. By which Egyptian Nobel laureate? No. They're by Naguib Mahfouz. And finally, which Irish novelist is the author of The Commitments, The Snapper and The Van, which together make up the Barrytown trilogy? Roddy Doyle. Correct. Ten points for this. The official residence of the holder of which political office is Butte House, located... Aberdeen Jones-Williams. First Minister for Scotland. Correct. Scotland. You retake the lead. Your bonuses this time, Aberdeen, are on false friends in other languages. That is, words that resemble English words but have quite different meanings. Firstly, what is the meaning of the Italian adjective caldo? That's C-A-L-D-O. Hot. Indeed. What is the meaning of the French noun librairie? That's uh, L-I-B-R-A-I-R-I-E. No, it's a verb, right? No, it's a noun. It's something like that. What's the opposite of a library? A bookshop. A bookshop? Correct. Finally, what is the meaning of the German noun gift? That's G I F T. Okay. Fine. Fine? No, it's poison. That's five minutes ago. Ten points for this. By weight percentage, what is the third largest elemental constituent of seawater after oxygen and hydrogen? Aberdeen B. Uh, sodium. No, anyone like to buzz from Queen's Belfast? Queen's Green. Carbon. No, it's chlorine. Ten points for this. The winner of the 1999 Turner Prize, which British artist made his debut as a feature film director with Hunger in 2008? Queen's Greenwood. Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses this time, Queen's Belfast, are on US presidents. Firstly, America is the only idealistic nation in the world. Which president said those words in 1919? Uh, 
Woodrow Wilson. Correct. The chief business of the American people is business. Those are the words of which U.S. president in a speech of 1925? Hoover. 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 No, it was Calvin Coolidge. What did Coolidge's successor, Herbert Hoover, describe as a great social and economic experiment, noble in motive and far-reaching in purpose? Prohibition. Prohibition. Correct. That gives you the lead. You're... We're all going to get now a starter question. Pontus Euxinus is a name given by the ancients to which inland body of water? Queen's Greenwood. Black Sea. The Black Sea is correct. <laughs> Bonus is this time Queens are on nicknames. What two-word nickname was given to the first American volunteer group, an air unit formed in 1941 to support China against Japan? Come on. Um, nominates the gamble. Panda Brigade. No, they're the fi Flying Tigers. The Tiger of Mysore was a by name of which ruler who resisted British dominance at southern India in the late 18th century? A mechanical tiger built for him is a popular attraction at the V&A in London. No, no idea. That's Tipu Sultan. And finally, Tiger was a nickname of which French Prime Minister? He was among those who framed the Treaty of Versailles in 1919. Uh, Clemenceau. Correct. Ten points for this. In January 2013, the world's highest rating in what activity was awarded to the 22-year-old Norwegian Magnus Carlsen? Queen's Green. Chess. Chess is correct. <laughs> Your bonus is this time Queens are on carbon. How many carbon atoms are there in a molecule of Buckminster Fullerene? Sixty. Uh, Nominates. 60. 60 is correct. What is the hybridization of the valence orbitals of the carbon atom in methane? Yeah, nominates Gamble. Pi? No, it's sp3. To within one degree, what is the hydrogen carbon hydrogen bond angle in methane? Nominates. 104.5? No, it's 109.5. Ten points for this. And at the gong, Aberdeen University have 105. Queen's University Belfast have 140. Well, you, it, was, it was very level pegging much of that contest, and it could have gone either way, I thought, just up until the last two or three minutes. But uh, Aberdeen, we thank you for coming, though. Uh, Queen's Belfast, 140. You'll be back as one of the uh, contenders in the next round of the contest. We should look forward to seeing you then. I hope you can join us next time and for another first round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Aberdeen University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Queen's University Belfast. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>